All right, serious question. Why is Bluetooth called Bluetooth? I mean, Wi-Fi makes sense. Airdrop sounds cool, but Bluetooth? That sounds like a medieval dental problem. Believe it or not, Bluetooth was actually named after a Viking king. Yep, not making this up. Meet Harold Bluetooth Gormson, a 10th century Danish king known for uniting Denmark and Norway under one rule, and also allegedly for having a dead tooth that looked, well, blue. So we named our wireless technology after a guy with dental issues? Cool, cool. Flash forward to the 1990s, tech companies were trying to create a new wireless system that could connect devices seamlessly. But there was one big problem. Different companies had their own competing technologies and nothing worked together. Then along came Jim Kardak, an engineer at Intel. He remembered reading about King Bluetooth, the Viking who united warring factions. And since this new wireless tech was supposed to unite all devices under one system, he suggested the name Bluetooth as a joke. So basically, a Viking king with a Bluetooth was the inspiration for why my earbuds connect to my phone? Yup. And the funny thing is, Bluetooth wasn't supposed to be the final name. It was just a placeholder until they came up with something better. But by the time they decided to change it, it was too late. Bluetooth had already stuck. Honestly, I love it. Next time someone asks why their Bluetooth isn't connecting, just tell them. Blame the Vikings. <laughs>